Good day to you one and all, it is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, today, uh, I'm talking about Razor Light. Remember Razor Light? They've uh, they had some brilliant songs in the noughties, didn't they? Like um, Stuff like uh, that one about... Um, Just come down in the morning, fool. And then the, the, the other one that was... Um, America, panic in America. Oh, 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 yeah! Thinking about America... Going to America, that sort of thing, you know. Um, I think the, the they wrote some really good songs, and the drummer's a very good songwriter, and I think he worked with uh, Ricky Gervais as, you know, a musical director when David Brent went on the road. So, lots of potential here for something brilliant, and I'm re- really excited to watch it. Here we go, it's called You Are Entering the Human Heart. Justin Hawkins writes again Again So this song was released on the 28th of October. Um, And what's staggering is that the official video has only got 2.9 thousand views so far. I mean, that's... That's astonishing to me. There should should be way more. There's there's, there's only 18 comments under the video. So what I want to know is, where are the Razorlight fans? Um, I'm going to read all of the comments. Um, Guillermo de la Rosa says, This is nice. Great comeback. Uh, Miss Cognito Cogito says, We need Razorlight back on the map, Johnny. We are sure. Please turn up as you are, lol. Um, Emis Romanova says, Sounds good. And then uh, somebody, with, which looks like a spam thing, buy YouTube views, link in bio, you have talent in video making, it says. Um, they didn't bother with any sort of um, punctuation or indeed a capital letter, and they put two N's in talent. So I'm, I'm going to reject that last comment, and I won't read the rest of them, but there's not many on there. And I think that's quite surprising to me. I th- we're going to put a link to this video in the description. So regardless of how I feel about it, I think you should go and look at it because it seems, seems crazy that a band like Razorlight would, would put something out and only, only like 2,500 people watch it. It's just it's no good. Anyway, Razorlight have reunited after 11 years apart. They have announced the new greatest hits compilation, Razor What? The best of Razorlight. Formed in 2002 in London, they've released three studio albums and they're best known for the singles Golden Touch. That was it. Go with the Golden Touch in America. Panic in America or Stuff in America. The latter of which was a number one single on the UK singles chart in 2006. That's, that's what's amazing to me. That's not that long ago, really. I mean, this. What is that? Okay, well, it's 16 years ago, but nonetheless, they couldn't have fallen that far. Something's wrong here. Um, I'm going to watch it and uh, we'll see. By the way, for those of you who are wondering, how comes he's wearing a denim jacket for this? Well, I'm, I'm wearing a denim jacket because I remember that um, the uh, preeminent men's clothing designer, uh, Hedy Slimer, who w- he was at the time when Razorlight came through, they were, he was uh, the chief designer at Dior Homme. And I think he was quite fascinated with Johnny Borrell and... Uh, even named uh, a denim jacket after one of their songs, which was called In The Morning. That was a Razor Light song, wasn't it? In the morning, something, 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 yeah. Straight away, the chord sequence is like... E minor, G... A minor. Hey, how are you and what's your name? Have I seen you before? Well, I'm glad you came. I like that melody. It reminds me of... And the stars, stars fall down like the... And it's dark clouds, all that remains of you, of you. That's um, Mads Langer, the Danish singer-songwriter, has got a melody just like that. But it's not swingy like this, so they've reinvented it. (laughs) 
So it starts off on the root, then it ends up on the the major third of the second chord, and then on the fifth of the third. Nothing happens when he hits that C, so I think it's you can sort of call that a passing C, really. I really like that sort of, um, it's like a brush, I think they're using brushes on the, the snare drum, but, it's, but, it's, but that can sound a little bit sort of uh, flabby sometimes, like, I don't know how to describe that word, um, that sound, it's kind of like, it can just get a bit indistinct, yeah, let's say that, um, but it's really quite a sort of tight and precise drum sound, it's a really nice production I think. Oh, here we go. So this is more of that uh, humour that's revealing. Here we go. Baby, did you think I was someone else? Or just another little fucked up kid half in love with himself? Another little fucked up kid half in love with himself. But he's saying, did you think I was someone else? Or just, or just another little fucked up kid half in love with himself? I like that uh, counter. You are entering the human heart. Hey, how are you? Is it good for you too? Now, see, this this is when it actually starts to sound like the, the old Johnny Burrell. Because he's got that sort of, um, I think he was singing in a really sort of reserved and <clears throat> withdrawn way in that first verse. And now he's how are you? Is it good for you too? Uh, Oh, you earn it, and that sort of attitude he's singing is more what we've what we're accustomed to with uh, Razor Light. Yes. Now, here's here's a lovely bit. Um, so Johnny Burrell at the beginning of it has got a beard. He's dishevelled. He's kind of like trapped in a glass cage of emotion, like in you know Anchorman. He's dishevelled. <clears throat> He's been called back to the front line to, 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 to be the figurehead and the master of ceremonies for the legendary Razorlight band. And there's a lovely scene of him shaving and, and bracing himself for the onslaught. <clears throat> it really reminds me of a Journey video. I can't, I've forgotten what the song is now, but it's like a, it just follows their, their tour bus. And then there's a lovely bit when, when uh, what's his name again? Is it Steve? Steve Perry is his name? That, that is sort, of, sort of looking in the mirror. Um, sort of wistfully looking in the mirror, and then he shaves his moustache off. It's a, it's a, it's a scene that I've, I'd love to emulate at some point, but I just don't have the confidence to shave my moustache off, l let alone on camera. But uh, Johnny Burrell's just gone ahead and done that. Brave. And now the moment you've been waiting for. It's been a long time coming. But here we go. You are entering the human heart. It's razor light. Really good to see uh, Joe Wiley, the preeminent um, music DJ, um, doing a cameo in this uh, <clears throat> in this video. She's responsible for breaking a lot of bands, not least The Darkness. Uh, she was the first person to give some national airplay to I Believe in a Thing Called Love. Maybe Razor Light are hoping that um, her influence will, uh, you know, improve their fortunes. It could be alright, it could be better, yeah, it could be alright. Oh, it seems like the drummer's singing now. I think, yeah, I'm really confused. Maybe that's what the first voice was. It could be better, yeah. And then Johnny Burrell's voice comes in. Oh, yeah, I love his voice. It could be In the human heart. I love that counterline, that's good. Sometimes they go. So they sort of pass on a B back down to the E. And sometimes they go. Like that last one going into the sort of final stro strike of the E minor chord. I mean, I respect your thing and everything, but you couldn't sort out your artist. You Come know? on, Charlie. 
Not even the greatest hits. Sorry, Roger. It's over. Fraser like a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite um quite revealing actually, isn't it? They sort of recognise that it's uh it might not be this might not be um the overwhelming success that their record company probably hopes for. But this is like one of those things when they've done they've done a humorous kind of self aware video that talks about that. But it must be heartbreaking. <laughs> it must be heartbreaking. Let's let's get the views up to ten thousand. They've only they've got like two point nine at the moment. It's been out for four days. That's just not good enough. Go and have a look at it and um you know Leave a comment for them because they've only got 18 comments on there. It's not, you know, they, de they deserve more than that. Good stuff, guys. Nice one. Justin Hawkins writes again. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, watch one of these two videos, and uh, nice one.